pilots were allowed to uh, get on with their main line of work in Bahrain over the weekend. That is the Gulf state staged its first ever air show. Delegates from 45 countries were given the first public look at a new military drone. It's a sector of the market that's flourishing as Bloomberg's John Cookson now reports. There were some heart-stopping moments in the skies above Bahrain as the Top Gun staged the spectacular sales pitch. By contrast, the civilian airline industry is still pretty much grounded. Giants like Airbus and Boeing are struggling with the worst recession in decades. Boeing, whose orders of commercial airliners dropped 78% last year, is unsure when the recovery will come. Always hard to call when the upcycle is going to come, but inevitably it does. It will uh, come globally and of course it will come in this region. And while sales of civil aircraft remain stagnant for the time being, on the military side it's a different story with intense interest in aircraft like this from British aerospace. Demand for unmanned systems by the US military has increased by 600% since 2004. And drones like this, the Hurti from BAE, shown in public for the first time, are fast rising to the top of military shopping lists in the fight against insurgency. This is one of the responses to have real intelligence about what's going on the ground and to do it very, very cheaply and then deploy your forces accordingly. Bahrain's air show was opened by the King, the Gulf being a growing market. The Gulf region is the largest region in the world today in the aviation industry. 50% of all aircraft that were purchased in 2007 were purchased in this part of the world. Yemen signed a contract to buy 10 Airbus planes, one of the few firm orders for civilian aircraft at the Bahrain show, an event where the military were the real stars. John Cookson, Bloomberg News, Bahrain.